boxing. Yep, this one is for the boxing fans. So if you're already here, we already know you're a boxing fan. It's the Anything Goes Podcast. It's your boy, Sean Peoples. I'm here with my brother, Demby. People, if you like the movement, you like what we got going on, please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, you know, comment in the comment section. You know, let us know if you agree, disagree, all that good stuff, you know. Thanks for all the support thus far. Um, MB, what's going on, my brother? Yeah, brother. I'm here, you know. I go out and use it. You know everything already. You see, brother? Yeah, everything is all good, man. You know, I um, want to sit back and uh, talk about this Deontay Wilder thing, man. They say that he's getting, Max Kellerman reported that he's getting step-aside money to let Fury and Joshua fight. Uh, how you feel about that? You think You think that's true? But before before I let you answer that, I have to tell you that Shelly Finkel and Bob Arum say that's not true. But you know, Max Kellerman knows the in, ins and outs of boxing, so you know he might have a source somewhere that's letting him know what's going on. So you know, what you think? Well, definitely, and I feel like Max Max Kellerman is one of the best in the business of boxing. So you know, I'm quite sure that he has some inside information on what's really going on as mm. far as this step aside money. Yeah. Well. Yeah, well, I, I really don't doubt it, you know, because at the end of the day, Deontay Wilder's words at this moment to me is very, very fluid. It's not something that I put a lot of trust in. So unless somebody of any kind of credibility yeah. can speak up on his behalf, I don't believe nothing that Deontay Wilder is, is, is saying. about right now. Yeah. He's saying right now. Uh, so... Yeah, so with him taking step aside money, brother, I, I really believe that it's true. Max Kellerman is telling because, you know, he postponed a couple of fights to fight um, Tyson Fury already, and it seemed like you know he rather go ro- go this route where he collects some change and let the, the heavyweight um, championship pass him by. Yeah. So, well, you know, I think that he's in a, a, a state where he. Um realize that I think it's just a money grab for him. I think he knows that at this right. point it looked like the 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 level of, of competition against Fury may be out of his league. You know, I know that he got the um he got the equalizer, you know, he got that one hit quitter. But right. I think he realized that with Fury it's kinda out of his league and he might he's gonna come up short. So I think it's just a money grab for him. I think he really wants the Fury fight because he wants the money. And I think that him taking, because all the court procedures and all the stuff that's going on, I think that him taking the step-aside money, if that's what's really going on, it's probably a good move for him because he gets to now go fight somebody else, make some money, and then on the back yeah. burner, see if you can come back and get back a shot at either Fury or Joshua. That make you know that makes plenty of sense to me. I don't know if it makes a lot of sense to him, but it makes plenty of sense yeah. to me. It, it does. It does. And key, just by you saying that brought this to my attention, I think that he don't want no more smoke with 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 with, uh, with Fury, and he's hoping <laughs> that taking taking the step aside money, Joshua could pull something out, and then you see if try he to can fight rub, Joshua. Yeah, see if he can knock Joshua off the mountain and stuff. But, right, but if I he think he's underestimating up. Joshua at the same time because Joshua is a better boxer than people think that he is. That that the Absolutely. casual boxing fan don't realize that Joshua is a better boxer than he really than he really perceived to be. I guess because Ruiz beat him and people, you know, because people don't know Ruiz, so they don't realize that Ruiz can box. He ain't really, just because he's fat and out of shape didn't mean that the dude, he can box, yeah, right. the dude is, is a is a great boxer. So, you know, you put great boxers in the ring, and, you know, it's a heavyweight thing. Anything can happen. One hit can change a whole fight. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, they really underestimate Ruiz and, and Anthony Joshua is, you know, he's really been undervalued because of that loss. Yeah. And I definitely feel like, yeah, the step aside money alleged, you know, by, by Max Kellerman could be true mm-hmm. in a sense where, you know, I think he really want to take a shot at Joshua, hoping that Joshua beat Fury. <laughs> and then, you know, so, yeah. so you're trying to get you to the weakest he, link. <laughs> trying to get to the weakest link, but, yeah, you know, everything is weak as he think, up. you know. It might have, exactly, exactly. Uh, I don't want to sound like I'm I'm just bashing Deontay Wilder because you know I, you know I passed with Deontay Wilder. I used to cheer for him and used to you know feel like he was the you know I never I never thought for a second that he was a great boxer. I just was rooting for him because he was a good um, 
good image for boxing at the time, and he was a black right. black heavyweight champion. Didn't have a lot of uh, a tutelage to his, his game, but he was doing his thing. So I was rooting for him. But when he came up with all these crazy stuff, he was telling all these lies on Joshua and telling, you know, it just made just made me see him in a different light. And I don't really think I can put my full support behind somebody that's doing stuff like that because you're tearing down another black man just to make yourself look good in the media when you could have not said all of the stuff that you could have said. You could have not said anything. Look at Earl Spence and um, Terrence Crawford. Yeah, they go back and forth. They bicker back and forth, but you never see them tearing each other down. In fact, you always hear them saying, I don't have a problem with him. I just, you know, I just feel like I'm the man. I just, you know, so I expect right, that from, right. I expect that from them. Don't tear the next, don't tear the next brother down, brother. Come on, man. Yeah, I think, I think, um, while there's really wallowing in his shame, and you know, I think he's, yeah. he's so ashamed <laughs> that he just can't get past it. And you're right. All this time when he was, because I believed him, just like you did. Yeah. We believed that everything he was saying about Joshua and ducking him and all that stuff. We believed that. And now come to find out that, you know, it was that lie. wasn't the case. <laughs> yeah. He was alive. So, that yeah. So there's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's no more benefit of the doubt for, for, for Wilder. <laughs> <laughs> you say that that's out the window now. That's out the window, brother. That's out the window. Yeah, I feel, I feel, I kind of feel the same way you feel. I just, I just hope, you know, I, I, I think that he, you know, remember when this, when the, when the last fight was going on, he started feeling himself so bad. He started calling himself the baddest man on the planet. Like, remember when he used to call, we used to call Tyson that. So he right. started talking. He still remember he was like, oh, I'm going to knock you out. He was in fairy face telling him, you don't believe nothing you say you're going to do. I'm this and I'm that. Right. And you thinking like, boy, when he catch fury with that one hitter, boy, fury going to sleep. Well, that was <laughs> not the answer, boy, because that did not happen. <laughs> that did not happen, brother. He, hey, Fury, stop him out of that dream, man, and walk up to reality. Turning him, <laughs> turning him to the saddest man on the planet. <laughs> the saddest man on the planet, and yeah. I don't, I don't think he's gonna be the same in a brother. I don't think Wilder will ever be the same in a in the ring in him. I think it's hard for a boxer of his caliber, his his stature, to lose. And come back and be the same type of person. I think it's going to be some timid there because even the great Roy Jones, who I feel like probably should go down as maybe the one of the top two, three greatest boxer of all time. That's just my opinion. But you know, I, he, when I he agree. lost, it changed everything for him. It wasn't like he couldn't box anymore. I just feel like he was timid to getting hit and hurt again, so he didn't do what he usually used to do. Yeah, you you're right. You're right. Bef- before I entered Itava, yeah, I used to put. I used to put him top three, and I used to argue with people about that. Me too. But yeah, but you know when he, you know, he, this the second go around, and Glenn Johnson just yeah. kind of. But, but know, yeah, but I, I know Glenn exactly Johnson, Jamaican, and even when I was going yeah. for Roy, even when, when Glenn Johnson beat him, and you know we cheer for we Jamaicans, we cheer for Jamaicans. When Glenn Johnson beat him, I wasn't cheering for Glenn Johnson. I was, I was hot. I I wasn't I, I wasn't cheering for Glenn Johnson. Nope, I, I was found hot. Him. I was upset. I was like, yo, yeah, I was the only Jamaican in the house. Everybody looking at me like, man, why are you ain't celebrating? Why am I celebrating? He just knocked my man's out. No. I know, I know, because you know the crazy thing is that I did not I did not know a Glenn I didn't follow Glenn Johnson's career. Yeah. And until he signed until he signed a fight with, with Roy Jones, I didn't know it was Jamaican. Yeah. You know. Uh, I heard a little I heard a little one and two things about him. I, I wasn't I wasn't like, you know, big on him, but I heard a little one and two things about him. But, you know, back back to the whole um Deontay Wilder thing. I think Wilder should um probably take the money, take a couple of fights before he step in the ring with either Fury or Joshua cuz probably the same right. thing will happen again. Right. Yeah. I agree. I agree. But definitely. Uh I just want people to know this is the Anything Goes podcast. But anything goes here, you know. We are one stop channel for everything. So people like, subscribe, share, comment in the comment section. You know, you know, if you're feeling the movement, jump on board and take this ride with us, man. We out. Mm-hmm.